folks, uh, welcome to another video. Um, this video it, I am going to um, dismantle this battery, see what's inside, um, maybe do some updates. Um, I think the wiring's a wee bit on the small side, I think that's 14 gauge. Um, I'm running probably 30 or 40 amps through this here, so probably want a wee bit more. Uh, so I'm going to replace this with 10 gauge and an XT90, because everything else I have is an XT90 and it's meant for more power. I'm not going to do anything with the charging cable, it's probably fine. Um, and then I'm just going to see what type of batteries are in there. So first thing I'll do is start stripping it down. It's just cellophane, so this sort of shrink wrap. I'll be honest, this is the second one I've done. and um, I've already stripped the other one, so I kind of know what to expect. But the video didn't come out that great, so I thought I'd do it again. But I failed about it. Um, the one thing I'm going to do different with this um, battery is I've bought a 60 amp BMS. There's a 50 amp BMS in it. It says it's 50 amp. Um, I think it's 50 amp max because it seems to peak out a lot earlier. I think that's why my, my 3 kilowatt motor is not working with it. This kind of these plastic padding quite secure and this rigid tape. I bought shrink wrap to replace it, so I'll be able to put it back together again. Same as the other battery, and um, the Dewey's wee foam things weren't in the other battery. And we have a LIBMS 13S30 50, it says. So I think maybe the 50 is the max and the cutoffs the 30, which would kind of tie in where I'm seeing stuff. Um, when I'm running the other motor, that's just a wee temperature sensor and um, the BMS and then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, so we have 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we have 13S and then obviously 10, 10 in parallel, um, which gives us our 550 amp hour. So these are 22,700, 5, 5,000 milliamp, 5 amp hour. Um, so if the batteries are what they say are, then they have yeah, the capacity should be. Um, also, they're not being rewrapped or something like that there. Um, but they, look, they look fine. They look fine. Yeah, so they're LIE-50. So it, it looks well put together. Um, everything seems all right. For me to start stripping, the only thing on the 14 gauge wire is a wee bit on the cheap side. You wonder why they bother, you know, putting the battery and then using really crap wire. Okay, so I'll de want to desolder this. I'll go and get the other BMS. Okay, so here is the new BMS, which kind of looks pretty much the same. Um, but yes, it's a 30, 13, 13S 60 amp max versus the 50 amp. And um, so looking at it, I'm gonna to have to, well, I'm gonna, I was gonna resolder the negative anyway, um, cause you're obviously gonna put the, the 10 gauge on. And um, there's a wire here 
for the temperature. So there's actually just a resistor on at the moment. Presume you take a resistor off. Maybe leave it on and um, see how we get on. Um, and then we've got the, the, the negative that actually goes to the battery. And so obviously it must cut off through the negative, the BMS. Uh, okay, so let's get cracking. So what I'm gonna do now is solder this. So this is probably gonna be a bit of a time lapse. So what I'll do is I'll solder, desolder this wire and put it with some nice G10 gauge. which we'll test shortly on the three kilowatt motor, see if it makes any difference. And last thing to do is just put the shrink wrap on it. Okay, so. <coughs> okay, so this battery put back together, shrink wrapped, um, not very well, but it'll do. It doesn't go into the water. It's in a wee waterproof box in the boat anyway. And um, both of them go into kind of like a box where there's a two into one, it goes out to the motor. And I'll show up in a future video. Um, so yes, let's go and see if this actually drives the the three kilowatt motor. So yeah, let's go outside. So we're back out at the the barrel, uh, three kilowatt electric outboard motor. Okay, so that's it hooked up. No spark. Uh, same issue. It goes up to goes up to a certain. Bit. And just, yeah, just it actually seems to be going worse today. Yeah, not sure if it's the motor, the battery, just not providing enough power. So that's the battery rewired, uh, the new BMS. Don't think it ma has made much of a difference. Um, I'll maybe do some more testing with the batteries on the outboard. If I get any re new results, I'll post up a video. Um, but yeah, the, the, the heftier wiring, as I said, I'd already done one of the batteries. So the hefty, heftier wiring definitely makes a difference to heat. When I was going full throttle, um, I could feel the, the wires heating up and um, with the 10 gauge they did not and um, so at least you'll not be losing any energy to heat so i'm hoping to get a wee bit more range out of them um but yeah that's that's it for the electric bat electric motors and batteries at the minute and um, i need to save up and get some of the lithium iron hopefully that'll drive three kilowatt and um, we're at winter time here so there's probably not much going on and um, i'd like to get some new stuff going in the new year uh have a wee tinker boat it's like a wee inflatable that I'd like to get the electric outboard on, test that going up to so the rivers and things like that there. Uh, so yeah, keep keep watching, subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks. <laughs>